this is Chris, keeping it real. How you doing? I'm going to talk a little bit about dog food this morning. You know, the, <clears throat> the, the quest to find good dog food is, is very difficult. Let me turn on the heat here real quick. It is very difficult because, you know, you want to feed your dog something good. I'm a German Shepherd, and we also have a little terrier. That was my wife's mother's dog before she died. And so we want, we want to feed them well. And for the last few years, I've fed them mostly raw food. <laughs> and I still do, but I, I'm beginning to think, given our latest experience with our, the latest dog food that we tried, that maybe that's not, you know, all, you know, maybe it's not the best solution in the world, maybe. Maybe we need to change our opinion about things. But anyway, we started feeding them Rachel Ray's Nutrish brand. <clears throat> and, you know, I'm not getting paid for this. This is just, these are just my observations. I've noticed that since we started giving him, giving them that food, and we give them the, the kind with, uh, it has rice in it. So it's, it's like, uh, I can't remember. Deer and something of rice. And it, it doesn't have a grain in it, though. I'm not sure of that. Except for the rice. It doesn't have corn in it. Let's put it that way. <clears throat> I've just noticed, you know, like I walk him every day, walking at least at least a half a mile and usually a mile. And over the past several months, he's really started pulling at the leash again, the way he used to when he was a lot younger. Uh, you know, about a year ago, it got to where, you know, I had to basically drag his, drag his furry butt up and down the street. <laughs> but now he's really, he's got so much more energy and he seems so much, you know, he seems much happier. I mean, active. You know, anything you think about, you think about a happy dog, he seems, he seems to be, you know, he seems to be back to his old self. And so, you know, I'm still going to give him chicken thighs because he loves those raw. And he loves chicken livers oh, yeah. and gizzards. And so, but I think we're going to go to about, from what I've seen, I think we're going to go to about 75, 25, Rachel Ray and Raw. Mainly, and, and you know, since, I mean, and, and it's only because he's responding so well. If he wasn't responding so well, I'd try to find something else. We have tried every, um, I'm sure, every other kind of grain-free alternative. This food has rice in it, which I don't really count as a grain. I mean, I know it is, but it's, it's not like corn. Um, and the dogs just didn't like it. I mean, they, they would eat some and they would not eat. They just they kind of just refused to eat it. You know, they would just wait until we got them something else. So, <clears throat> so if you're, you know, if you got a dog, you know, it doesn't seem to be quite as peppy as they used to be, and or as he or she used to be, or as they used to be. Oh, goodness, we got to go. Um, then I would say, you know, you don't have anything to lose. And But that's what, the thing that really impressed me about this food is from the very first time we got it for them, they ate it. I mean, that, that we didn't, you know, was, we didn't have to leave the food out for three days while they stuck their noses up at it until they finally got hungry enough to eat it. They just, they just ate it. And so I think it's, I think it's pretty good food. We get ours off Amazon, we get the, huge bag and then we put them in some storage containers that are relatively airtight with some oxygen absorbers in them, yeah. <clears throat> and so I don't know if it's like a 50 pound bag or whatever, but it's just over a dollar a pound for that, maybe a dollar twenty, which is really good uh, for, for dog food, for dry dog food. Uh, that's an excellent price, so just my two cents, right? All right. Got any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. Like and subscribe. We appreciate it when you do. We'll see you on the next video.